Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. Hope you're doing well. My name is Todd. This is Tyrone and Tandy. Waffles or pancakes? And this is from the show Cloak and Dagger, which I've never heard of. So we're going to be looking into a little bit more what that show is, and then we're going to watch the video and see what it's about. This video is requested by a ToddReacts.com member. You two can join today. Link down below in the description will get you there. Do a like in the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Hit that notification bell. That way you know when videos post immediately. You can come check it out. And let's go. All right, so it is from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I had no idea. And apparently that's the name of their characters, Cloak and Dagger. Let's see. Two teenagers with superpowers who form a partnership. Television series. Da, da, da. Apparently it lasted two seasons. And then it was canceled. Filming took place in New Orleans. Yeah, it was 2018 to 2019, I guess. In New Orleans, Louisiana, teenagers Tandy and Tyrone come from different backgrounds and have acquired superpowers after a life-changing event that resolved around the collapse of the Roxon Gulf platform. As their friendship unfolds, they soon realize that their powers work better when they are together. They use these powers to try to fix some of the wrong in the world. In the second season, Tandy and Tyrone work to solve the abductions of women run by Andre... DeShane, while dealing with Bridget O'Reilly's, boy, these names, vigilante half mayhem. I gotta go. No, stop running. Who are you? What's your name? Tandy. No, but the woman said it would point me towards answers. And it did, in a way. Who do you think? You are Tyrone freaking Johnson. You're Tandy frickin' Bowen. Baller lady killer. Master thief. Kick-ass ballerina. <laughs> Master of space, if not time, and you don't need a cloak for all of that. Manipulator of light. The harbinger of hope. From the beach? The beach? This is a song I had a sort of partner. Why'd you call me? I get it. Oh, you don't. I might be the only one who does. I just needed someone who would understand. It's nice to have someone to talk to. I can't trust anything. That's none of your business. But I have to tell you when I head out and blow off steam. No, you don't have to tell me anything. I just thought that you would. Look, what is going on right now? We're supposed to tell each other everything, and you lie. What about me? Can you trust me? Look, what was it? Tell me. Yeah. No, I don't have to tell you anything. You seem okay. I mean, you were right there. Clear as day. What, do you think you and I are some sort of partnership? Man needs a blade for that. But we're not. I'm lucky I have you. Damn right. You made me feel like you never cared about me, like it was all just an act. You two are only living in the same world as long as Tandy allows it. I played you. Because that's what I do. I play people. I like him. Tandy, okay. no, that's not who you are. Damn. Yeah, me too. You have one friend. Who? I, I called my best friend. Me? You have no one. Then I was wrong. The universe keeps pushing us together. I have one person. Die! 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 He made me see you. I didn't know you wanted to. Dying. In front of me. I can't do this without you. And the one person in the whole world who understood me was gone, and it was my fault. Be careful, okay? You're gonna be okay. Ty, what's wrong? He would do it for me. Ty, are you okay? Ty! I'm right. I told you I check up on everybody I care about. You fit square into that category, Tandy. Okay. Tandy! No, I already wasted too much time sitting tight. Tandy's not here anymore. Where is she? Where is she? Andy? And be careful. The universe keeps pulling us apart. Thanks for you. Tandy! She's a force of destruction, and you're a protector. Tandy, you okay? <laughs> Why did you come to that motel and try and save me? Why didn't she hmm. take you with her? What if I get blindsided again? Well, that's why you have me. How do you know? Probably because I told her I'd be better off without her. I'm glad I do have you. And I was in trouble. 
Me too. Because you protect me. You saved me. I couldn't imagine my life without you. What was I doing? You kept running. Long ago, I saved your life, but... You think I'm just gonna leave you here? No, that sounds about right. So if you're staying here... And you didn't. So am I. Last time we stayed. I'm not gonna let you die in here! Every day since, you've been saving mine. One of us has to. Me and you, we're supposed to be the exception. Not the one. Yeah. What I was gonna say, why didn't you ask me to help? I need your help. I need you. Seems incredibly complicated. Last time you were alone, but this time I'm not leaving you. You have to kill him. We go together. But it's on you. It's on me too. I know that. I got your back. It's not just that. You have my back. I know. To die sometimes is the only thing that I know. Just like everything else. All I know is I'd rather fight a hundred times with you than one time without you. Together. When you answer that question, you're not a question. When you hold hands with your girl, no question is that. Waffles or pancakes? <laughs> Waffles or pancakes? Waffles? Waffles. <laughs> so they're both waffles. All right. Waffles or pancakes? Uh. I mean... What's cool about waffles is they have those little ridges in them, so it's almost like a little cup of like maple syrup or fruit or whatever. But I'd say it's hard to go against pancakes. It's really hard to go against pancakes. It's like cake in the morning. It's fantastic. <laughs> you could put whatever you want in the mix. Comes out beautiful. Blueberries, chocolate chips, whatever. And it's just fluffier. I don't know. Something about the fluffiness of a pancake. Although I do like crisp around the edge every once in a while. I don't know. I mean, that's such a hard question. I'm going to go with pancakes. What's your answer? Let me know down below in the comments. I've put the link to the original video in the description. Go ahead and check it out. Throw them some love. Well, I figured out trying to answer pancake or waffle is a lot harder than just a couple seconds that it took them. <laughs> it definitely seems like a very complicated relationship there. Um, seemed like Tandy had a previous partner that probably didn't go well. They probably died and I made her jaded towards partnership. That's obviously the whole point of this is me trying to decipher what the heck's going on. And then you guys fill me in, in the comments and, you know, school me on what exactly is the ins and outs here. But, uh, it looks like they are decent together, but that one line kind of stuck out to me. It's like, the universe is trying to pull us apart. I don't know exactly why that would be or what is causing them to rift apart, but it definitely seems like they find their way back to each other eventually. I mean, they're holding hands, they're talking about waffles or pancakes. All right, I just wanted to look up a little bit more on these characters. Teenager, street thief, connected to Tyrone through a shared childhood tragedy with the ability to emit light daggers. Okay. More cynical than previous portrayals and noted that when she touches people, she can access their hopes and desires, saying there's something exciting about having a cynical character like Tandy who steals things and doesn't believe in the good of man, yet sees the best in them when she touches them. Teenager connected to Tandy through a shared childhood tragedy. Let me know what the tragedy is. With the ability to engulf others in darkness and transport them through the dark force dimension? What? All right, that sounds infinitely cooler than light daggers. That sounds way cooler, actually. Johnson has the ability to witness people's fears, having been living in a world of fear since the death of his older brother, Billy. Oh, was that the tragedy? Pekaski added, there was something interesting in helping him to understand that everyone is afraid. So he's having kind of an epiphany moment of, oh, I guess other people live in a world of fear as well and not just myself. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, Dark Force Dimension, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> sounds like the netherworld. All right, so Tandy has a drug and alcohol addicted yet optimistic mother, and Tyrone has a mother who invests heavily in making sure her son has a good life. All right, so, mm, all right. We can kind of see where Tandy went astray, and Tyrone is trying to save her. I guess. Here we go. Tandy's partner in crime and boyfriend in the first season. Oh, oh, that explains a little bit. 
So that would be why she would have trouble accepting a new partner um, and certainly any sort of love interest. She just went through that heinously tragic event. Perfect way to bond with somebody going through all that insane action and grief and trauma and, you know, very much, I've said it before on this channel many times, it's why police officers, paramedics, etc., have such a close bond to one another. You know, those in the military, especially if they're gone through combat, it's because they have suffered through something together. Whether it be traffic stop that went bad, or somebody dying in the back of an ambulance, or you're being shot at, ambushed somewhere. That's going to drive you together and create just an unbelievable bond. Not saying that's going to lead into a romantic bond every time, but if you're in that sphere, uh, that will drive you together. What do they call that? Trauma bonding or whatever? I guess it's seen as a negative, but sometimes it might be a positive. Who knows? Let me know your thoughts on Cloak and Dagger down below in the comments. Did you watch it? Were you sad when it was canceled? I mean, it only lasted. It says two seasons, but really it was more like an, a year and a half, maybe a year of actual time so that probably seemed like it was there and then gone pretty quick it's amazing the amount of leash shows get nowadays it's very short very short to the point of they give it maybe one season sometimes not even that if it's the ratings are too bad they're just gone in the half season i'm actually looking at a list of shows that were canceled after one episode aired let me go ahead and bring that up this is funny look at this these shows, a lot of them I've never heard of. Taskmaster, wait a minute, which had been imported by the CW to air over the summer in the US. Underperforming in comparison to other series it had imported. CW pulled the series on August 5th and replaced it with reruns of Supernatural. Wow. So we almost had Taskmaster in the US. At least aired. Oh my gosh. Well, that's unfortunate. One show I wish got more time was Black Sails on Stars. There's four seasons, but it just, it feels like four was not enough. It very much seemed like a 10 season show with the amount of production quality it had. The actors were great. The storyline was fantastic. It's about pirates. I mean, what more do you want? Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. ToddBreaks.com, you can pick up this premium heavyweight hoodie available right now and a bunch of winter collection merch. We have a heavyweight sweatshirt, sweatpants, long sleeve tee, beanie, everything you possibly need to keep you warm throughout this winter. While you're there, you can also sign up for memberships, request your own videos, and check out these full-length episode reactions available right now. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.